Hi hey everyone, if you want to get rid of this ugly thing and mostly being dangerous, in my case I have installed it properly but other users have had these issues with this one not plug it in properly. So if you want to get rid of this one then this is the only thing I suggest you to get. This is called the GPU Wire View from Thermal Leasley, it's a simple adapter but it will solve a lot of problems. So here is what you get inside the box, the adapter itself and some instruction which I suggest you guys to read it carefully because here you have the menus, the settings and sub menus and whatever cycling information on the display here. Here is explained everything basically on how you can enter on the menus and the sub menus and how you can just set all the values and how you can cycle between all this information and also on the other side of the manual there are different versions of this adapter that you can get depending on your GPU and depending on the connector on your GPU and also here we have the instruction on how to install it. You can also scan this QR code here in order to get all the information you need. As you can see here is the small display for showing all the information. So we will get to that in a minute and if you turn it on the other side here yeah, in this case I have the version with the three eight pins but you can have also the version with two of the 12 pin 600 watt connectors. One is going to be here and the other one is going to be here so if you have one of those power supplies which have the cable that is going straight from the power supply to the GPU you can get the version of this that have that kind of connector. In, th in this case I have three 8 pin PCIe connectors which is enough is going to bring 600 watts to the GPU and it's enough. Here there is a small button that you can press it and cycle through four main menus and there are if you will long press it you are going to go through the sub menus but we'll get to that. I believe this is a connector for service if I'm not wrong yeah. and that's it. It's pretty simple but it feels to me the builds and the materials also are feeling really well done. So you don't have any chance to connect this with a USB cable or whatever else to your system just to change settings or just to log settings. I would have preferred honestly kind of USB version but that might buy another kind of engineering but anyway this is going to be really something safe for your GPU then I highly recommend and I highly suggest to get one of these instead of getting one of the generic adapters that might really get damaged to your GPU. So let's install this thing and go through some menu settings. All right here we have the wire view installed. So as we can see we have a space a little space here on the adapter so you can check if this is connected properly or not on this side here I don't know if I'm able to let you show but here there is this small space so you can check if the connector is connected properly to your GPU and on the small screen here we can see some information and the first thing you can see here is the power consumption if you press the little button that is here on the side I don't know if you can see here is this the small black button that you can just press it once then you can cycle between other information for example here we have the power consumption the voltage and the amps and if you press it again you have the minimum and maximum of the consumption as you can see here is 11 baht the minimum at 100 almost 100 baht of consumption this is when you boot is as you know the GPU spikes some power and, uh, this is the average consumption and if you press it again you can return to the first value of the power consumption so I prefer to leave this one because I want to check also the voltage and also the power consumption of this one you can of course uh, cycle between whatever information you want so one thing I've been noticing on this one is that whenever you are going to shut down your system and disconnect the power cable these values here minimum and maximum usage are going to be reset so let's go back to this one so if you long press the button here you're going to enter in a kind of sub menu as you can see status energy timeout this is the average consumption so we're going back again to the main menu you have to press it again it's going to clear all the informations and then you are going to go back to the main menu so that's it one thing I would suggest you guys is to check if you have enough clearance here because as you can see the cables are going in my case I have three eight pin cables are going really I'm almost there with the space and everything as you can see on the back there but if you have the version of with a 12 1 12 pin cable maybe you are not going to face this issue or if you have another GPU I have my GPU mounted vertically so this is helpful to me to check all the information but let's stop for a moment I want to ask you guys a huge favor a lot of you who watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel I would highly appreciate if you consider subscribing subscribing it takes one second to click on the subscribe button and that will help a lot the channel and allow me to bring more content like this thanks a lot
here we have GPU Z and let's go through the sensors and let's start quick benchmark here so we can check the power delivery and if the power is being delivered properly especially the voltage here the 12 volt as we can see it's running constantly and if we check also here we can see the power being delivered to the GPU as we were expecting that's the same values that we are seeing also on the GPU Z and here we have the voltage the arms and also the buttons press here on the side and check all the values here i prefer this kind of visualization it have more info need voltage and the bots which are might be the most important values here so let's stop the render test and as we can see everything is working properly here all the power delivery and all the voltage it's working as expected the thermal grizzly gpu wire view in my opinion is one of the most underrated accessories but i highly recommend installing it on your system just for peace of mind this is the first version but if thermal grizzly keeps up the good work this can get even better in my opinion if you overclock your gpu or you want to have all the details about the power delivery and the voltage and so on on your gpu well you can't miss this little accessory if you find this video about the thermal grizzly gpu by review helpful consider subscribing hit the like button and don't forget to enable the notifications thanks a lot for your support and thanks for watching